So here's an example of the frequency response of the OpenADC. So I have a frequency generator connected to the input and it's sampling at 40 megahertz derived from that frequency generator. So I can step the frequency through and we'll see the FFT display there move. So there's a tiny bit of lag obviously between changing the frequency and the update of that FFT, but you can see it works quite well. And what's interesting is that I'm sampling at 40 megahertz, 40 mega samples. So as we approach the 20 megahertz point, this is when we'll be above the Nyquist frequency and we'll see it bounce back as it starts to alias back into the main spectrum. So we can see this 20 megahertz spectrum. Um, we're now measuring, you know, a 36, 40 megahertz signal and we just see it bounce back and forth. So here I've sped up the video a bit because it takes quite a while to go through everything. Um, so we start to see a few other spurs coming up here. Um, and we just continue to see that main one bouncing back and forth and we're up quite high now. I mean, we're approaching 200 megahertz. So you'll notice in the time domain display that the signal is becoming very small because it's been uh, attenuated quite a bit due to the filter effect of that low noise amplifier input. The transformer input obviously works a lot better. It doesn't have this sharp, sharp roll off that you see in the frequency response. But what's interesting is because it's a low noise amplifier, I can just increase the amplification and that sort of counteracts the effect of that. And you can see there in the frequency domain that spike coming and you can see the time domain too. Uh, so now I'll put that to full gain and we'll just keep going and see how high it can really go. Uh, you'll notice in the time domain that it's starting to look a little rougher and you're seeing this in the frequency domain as these additional spikes and sort of the noise floor is coming up. Uh, so we're now over 500 megahertz. This is well above the range that the LNA or ADC is really spec for. Um, so it's you can see we're getting the full performance range. So that's just a quick example of the open ADC.